So everybody, it's your boy CB Sports TV, back with another one for y'all real quick. So it's um being rumored, I'm uh, seeing from Mike Coppinger and Michael Benson, pretty much that um Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia for LA probably late August, early September is pretty much close to being a done deal. Um, I see a second straight loss in a row for Mikey Garcia and. Danny Garcia might mess around and stop him, but I think it'll be more along the lines of a unanimous decision because, I mean, um, I don't think Michael Garcia had recovered fully from, you know, the defeat and uh, the beating he took at the hands of Errol Spence because he didn't win that one round. I think this is too soon he may come back in, but I applaud him, though, for getting back on the saddle, not taking no tune-ups and getting right back at it. So I have respect for Michael Garcia for doing that. But I don't see him beating Danny Garcia. I'm just being honest with you. He's not going to beat Danny Garcia. And furthermore, they're talking about this is going to be Fox pay-per-view. Who's going to pay for that? I'm not. That's um that right there is not happening. I'm sorry. You know, if you don't make Errol Spence Sean Porter regular pay-per-view, you put that on regular Fox, you sure as hell damn well better put um Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia on, on regular TV. Because who the hell gonna buy it on pay-per-view? That is not a pay-per-view fight. That is a primetime Fox fight. Or that is a Showtime fight. That's what that is. That has absolutely zero, and I mean zero, business being on a pay-per-view. Okay, I'm sorry, but no. PBC, y'all get out of hand with this. Like, no, if y'all to put Errol Spencer, Sean Porter on there, that's a unification fight for the welterweight championship of the world, the WBC and the IBF. I can see that. I would pay for that. Not a problem. Not for Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia. And um, no, that's not a pay-per-view fight. I'm just sorry. It's not. I guess they're thinking they're going to get the um, the large contingent of um, you know Hispanic fans just in general to pay for that. I mean, good luck in getting that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them might not even pay for it. I'm just being honest. They don't, I don't see them paying for it like that. You know, Mike Garcia is not taking no tune-up or nothing like that. You know, so, I mean, you know, kudos to him, but he should have got back, you know what I'm saying, at a light touch. And 147 is not his division. I'm just sorry. Like, we just got to call it what it is. 147 is not his division. He has a better chance at surviving at 140. We all know 135 is his crown jewel division. So, trying to go on to 147 and still trying to, you know, handle business up there. You can take a second straight defeat, Michael Garcia. That's just the way I see it. I do. I don't see no way in hell you beat Danny Garcia. He is a much bigger guy than you like Earl Spence was, and he has a wider body. I think you know what I'm saying. I just, I just don't see it. Now, true, it might be more competitive along the lines of, um, you know, because Danny Garcia is a flat-footed fighter and he's a lot slower, so it might be along the lines of there. Yeah, you might be able to compete, but when he touches you, you're gonna feel the difference. So that's my whole thing. When Danny Garcia touch you, if he hit you with that left foot clean, it's a good night out of ring. Because I don't think, I think Mikey Garcia will fight a lot different than he did against Danny Garcia. That's why I have Danny Garcia stopping him, honestly. I really do have Danny Garcia stopping Mike Garcia because I think Mike Garcia is going to come forward and think like, oh, well, you know, he's not, you know what I'm saying, the slick fighter. He's, you know what I'm saying, going to come right at me. And I can move his punches and I think I can, he think he can take Danny Garcia punch. I'm going to tell you, ain't happening, Captain. I got, honestly, my early prediction right now, Danny Garcia stops Mikey Garcia in about 10. Might be eight between 8 and 10 rounds, somewhere up in there. I'm just being honest with you. That's just the way I see it. Yeah, but is it a good fight? Yes, yeah, a good fight. I'm glad that, you know, Danny Garcia, you know what I'm saying, not fight, you know what I'm saying, the likes, you know, you know the Granado says, and I knew he had to get, you know what I'm saying, one fight coming in off that um, Sean Porter loss. So that's good. Mike Garcia, you know what I'm saying, to me, is just another, another tune-up for Danny Garcia. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't see Mike Garcia um, winning this fight. Now, he might be able to box his way to a decision, but that's going to be hard because Danny Garcia is going to catch him. That's the thing. But it's a battle of the Garcias. You got that out there in L.A., a large you know, Mexican fan base. And, you know, Danny Garcia fans are, well, they ain't going to travel. Let me stop lying. I'm not going to say that. They're not going to travel. Nope. But. It's going to be a large just Hispanic fan base out there, period. So, I mean, I see why the PBC might try to put it on pay-per-view, but I don't, see, I don't think the Hispanic fan base is going to order it. That's just my personal opinion. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying what I see. I just don't see it. But if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. No biggie. That's just what it is. 
So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Um, Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia is pretty much close to a done deal, according to reports. CB Sports TV, shout out to the LDBC. I'm out.